This is the second national press club that the national broadcaster has hosted, where the opposition leader Don Polio was the guest speaker. He was accompanied by Kikori MP Mark Maipakai and Lay MP Luzjaya Koza. Other persons of note included the Director of Transparency International Lawrence Stevens and the Institute of National Affairs Director Paul Baker and members of the Diplomatic Corps. The first one was held last month and hosted Prime Minister Peter O'Neill, where he talked on the country's progress since he took office and his plans for the future. Now, Prime Minister O'Neill, he sat uh, or he stood up there. Mr. Polly also highlighted some of his policies and plans for the country last night. Paramount amongst these, the enforcing of the rule of law. He has plans to fully staff and fund the Ombudsman Commission, ICAC, support the fraud squad and the judiciary as well. Establish fund and staff an independent commission of inquiry or commission against corruption to coordinate and integrate all state efforts to reduce and eradicate corruption. We will support independent action by the police fraud squad. We will act firmly on reports of commission of inquiry in order to correct what is wrong. He also spoke of his plans to boost the economy through agriculture, cut down on government spending by taking some hardline measures and also creating a balanced economic environment. Apart from the alternate government's plans for the future, Mr. Polier also pointed out what he says is unequal distribution of wealth in the country. So much funds, public funds, is polarized in one place alone. Do we call that development a share that is shared, a, a fair share of the wealth of nations for all Papua New Guineans? His 30-minute speech was followed by a question and answer session with reporters from different media outlets. Jeheb Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby.